it has been an ongoing dialogue within certain corners of America, but it's not really until maybe the last eight or nine years that almost every nook and cranny of this country has been openly cognizant of the fact that the racial progress that we know America to be about and uh, can and will continue to aspire towards um, is now the the. the the pace towards that, and perhaps the really excruciatingly slow pace towards that, is now on full display. And while there are very many moments of optimism and growth, and what we've seen in terms of the tolerant and treatment of other people from the marriage equality Supreme Court case that came down in 2016, um, or was that 15, a couple years ago, um, all the way to the, the, the way in which that we've been um, way more integrated as a community um, in, a, in, in our, from our allocation of school resources and beyond, that, for all that progress, it kind of feels at times that we're taking two steps forward and one step back. In particular, you've seen um, a rise in hate crimes against the Jewish community. I believe the Anti-Defamation League, um, I, I'm going to fumble the statistics, so I'll refrain from quoting an exact number, but since you know the beginning of this year has seen an increasing uh, tide of, of violence against local mosques and um, uh, Jewish community centers. Uh, just you know, notoriously, a few months ago, there were two Indian gentlemen, sorry, South Asian of Indian descent gentlemen, who were in a bar in Kansas, I believe, who were targeted, um, yelled at, and got into a violent skirmish um, with another bar goer um, who happened to be of a different ethnic background, calling them out for not being American enough. Um, and so I think that, and then of course you have this, the more recent events of Charlottesville, um, in which our own president of the United States morally equivalented speaking out against racism with the ability to condone hate speech. And so what this is really doing is creating something we're always aware of, but you have more and more individuals across the United States who may not necessarily have paid attention to politics much, or may not necessarily give a shit about politics today, kind of question this identity of, are you just as American as I am?